Before we get started, we need to answer one question. What is a derivative? Well, in calculus, the derivative is the slope of the tangent line to a graph. For instance, here's a graph, f of x, the point c that I've noted. The tangent to f at x equals c would look like this. In essence, a tangent line is just a line that touches the graph once at that point, sort of like a pencil resting there. Now, a function can have all sorts of different derivatives because as you progress along a function, you can have all sorts of different tangent lines. Watch as the dot, which represents the x value, travels along the function and how the tangent line changes as the dot moves. We need to figure out a way to determine exactly what the slope of that tangent line is. And we do that using something called the difference quotient. In this section, I'm going to show you exactly where the difference quotient comes from. Here's a graph called f with a point on it labeled x. My goal will be to find the slope of the tangent line to f at that point. First things first, the coordinates of this point are x comma f of x. Now, here's how I get my formula. I'm going to move a small distance to the right of x, and I'm going to call this small distance delta x. It's mathematical language for the change in x. Therefore, this new location is the total distance of x plus delta x from the origin. And this new point has coordinates x plus delta x comma f of x plus delta x. Now, if I draw the line that connects these two points in red, it's called a secant line. It's not exactly like the tangent line we're looking for that I'm showing in blue, but at least it's a start. I'm going to go ahead and try to find the slope of this secant line. And to do that, I'll use the old formula from algebra, where slope is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And I'll get the slope is f of x plus delta x minus f of x, all divided by the quantity x plus delta x minus x. And if I subtract those x's in the denominator, I get this. Now remember, this is the slope of the secant line, not the tangent line. So I'm not done yet. I need to find a line which is closer to the tangent line than this one. Let's look at that graph again. What happens if I were to make delta x smaller? In other words, my second point will be closer to x than it was before. Now, if I draw the secant line connecting my original point to my new point, which is slightly closer, I will get a secant line which looks more like the tangent line than the previous one did. It's getting closer to it. In fact, the smaller delta x is, the closer this secant line will be to the tangent line. Watch on this animation as the delta x goes from really big to really small. The red secant line comes closer and closer to the blue tangent line. We want delta x to be as small as possible. So therefore, I need to make a small adjustment to my secant slope. Remember, that was f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. But we want to specifically say that that delta x needs to be as small as possible so those lines basically overlap. And to do that, we'll use a limit. All we do is add in the limit as delta x goes to 0. In other words, I want delta x to become so small it's almost zero. It can't be zero because then I would have zero in the denominator of the fraction. That's why I have to use a limit. And I say get that delta x as small as possible. This is the difference quotient. It is the mathematical definition of the derivative.